Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one is going to be on the uh, fourth and final flash feud that's going on. Uh, I want to start by covering the guys you can get some bonus points with. Um, so if you go to the solo competition and you go to tasks, you can see the guys that you get a bonus for. Uh, Adam Cole, he's worth 300,000 if you have him, almost no one does. Uh, Any Mankind is worth uh, 200,000 over 10 battles. Uh, Scott Hall Outsider is worth 400,000, so that's a lot right there. Uh, Big Kev's worth 250,000. ABA is 120,000. And uh, Hogan's 500,000 if you have any of those guys. Uh, I'm not going to go for the ABA one. He's not worth a ton, and those 10 matches are going to be painful. Um, and probably slow me down more than make up for the points. So, because it's only 12,000. Uh, the other, I have uh, a bunch of different mankinds I could use. Uh, I have Scott Hall at four star silver and Big Kev at, at four star silver. So, uh, those won't really slow me down at all. So, they're worth bringing. Uh, if you have some of those guys, like, so because I have those three guys, that's going to be worth an extra 850,000 in points, which is a significant chunk. So having those bonus guys certainly helps, but you, uh, like this ABA is really low, so I'm not going to bother for 120,000 points. Uh, if I had him in the four star range, I might think about it or three star gold, but I wouldn't be able to get hardly any wins with mine. So he'll just be a liability. Um, so keep that in mind when you're doing this, but also a lot of a chance for a bunch of bonus points. So you're going to want to going to want to look at that and use the guys you can. So I just wanted to cover that first. Uh, we'll get into the normal kind of faction feud prep. Uh, so the minimum roster is five. So you have to bring at least five. And this one is the one to score a bunch of points, uh, mainly because it's a little more open uh, to a degree. Um, it's not necessarily, but most people have a pretty strong attitude roster, so that should help you. Uh, middle bo middle lines, pr easy to fill. Um, so also each unique win is worth 30,000 points. So the fastest way to score a lot of points in this one is being able to win with each guy you bring. So if you bring five guys and you win a match with each of them, that's 150,000 just for the unique wins portion of it. So that's what you're really going to want to do is be able to get a win with each guy you bring. That's the fastest way to score points in this one. Um, so I, I kind of set mine up. I, I really want to bring Wolfpack Sting, but because of some of the other stuff I'm going to do, it doesn't work out with trainers. So when you're setting your roster up, make sure you can have proper trainers on everyone you bring. I can't stress the importance of that enough. Um, then you have a chance to, a very good chance to win with each uh, each guy once each match. So I'm taking uh, a Surfer Sting. I hate doing this, but I'm gonna take Zombie Austin, and I'll, I'll cover that uh, why. And then for Striker, I'm gonna do my bonus matches of Hall and Nash uh, first. Um, and get those done. Uh, Hall first because he's the most. And then I don't know what I'll go after that, to be honest. Um, I might end up going, just because it's he's really sneaky, I might end up going NWO Ted because at 7K he can beat people much, much higher. Um, so I might do that. This is really the main thing I'm excited about is I get to use Sako a bunch. Um, so the open attitude slot, you could see any numerous things. Uh, you could see, you could see anybody really. There's so many good attitude guys. So you could see anything from from X Pac to Zombie Austin to to Wolfpack Sting, Eddie. There's just so many events. Six. You'll, you're going to see a bunch of sixes because you're going to see a bunch of Zombie Austins. So plan on that. The modern slot. I think almost exclusively you're going to see either Dango or Z Kane. That's probably what you're going to see completely um now the reason i'm bringing zombie cane is because of trainers if i use zombie austin that takes woods away from dango and then i can't turn one with him so right now all of these guys everyone i have on my roster 
is turn one. Turn one stun for Austin, turn one stun for Z-Kane, uh, turn one sting, changing all the color turn gems to blue. Uh, Hall isn't really turn one. I mean, he drops four randoms and then he, you know, so that's Hall, but uh, otherwise everyone else is turn one. So what I mean when you want to bring your guys is make sure you have the proper trainer set up to either be uh, turn one or most likely to turn two with a match. That's what you want to do. Um, as far as the lane bonuses go, uh, top one I'm not even going to talk about because there's so few people that are going to have it. I mean, if you have Cole and you have Hogan, you're going to run them. Those are your choices. So that's what you're running. Nothing really to talk about. If you have both of them, kind of hate you a little bit and you're probably going to have a bunch of fun. Um, so middle one, that's the realistic one that you're going to be able to fill. Very few people are going to be able to fill the bottom one. So I don't think I really even need to talk about the bottom line bonus. In fact, I'm not going to. Uh, I have two Hall of Fame. I could fill it. I don't really want to f to go in with that big of a roster. I don't need... Uh, so there's a few ways you can approach this feud. It's hard to say. Uh, it, if you need to max the solo a bunch of points still, and you, you probably do, uh, maybe going big is the solution, but you're going to have to have a counter for a bunch of guys, and you're probably going to struggle getting those unique wins uh, if you got to, say, use Zombie Austin on everyone you face. You're not, that's not worth any points. You don't want to do that. It's not useful. You want to be able to get those unique wins. That's going to generate much, much more points for you. And the bonus guys, if you have like Hall and Nash and any Mankind, are also worth a bunch of points. So I would say really go with the minimum of five unless you have amazing guys across the board. Like, you know, if you have if you have two Hall of Fame, you probably do. So I guess there's really not much use in uh, in, in going super long winded on that. Um so normally, this is the line bonus I'm going to talk about. Plus two submission, plus 100% uh, finisher damage. So uh, it's going to be really good, in my opinion, for uh, NWO Hitman. It'll, I mean, solid for him. When you look at him, he recycles on his finisher. His finisher is not huge damage at 23k, but it does buff it to 46k. So useful for him. Um, Austin, you're not using his finisher. Uh, if you have Kane with gear, very, very good line for him. I really, really want to bring my Kane with gear. I don't think I'm gonna, um, so that'd be great for him. Phenom, uh, it should be a fantastic line for Phenom, uh, for a couple different reasons. One, he's got a decent finisher, uh, for damage, but two, he also has a quick sub, um, so really good line bonus for Phenom. If you have a higher Phenom, uh, certainly worth taking, especially to counter the zombie Austins. Um, you could also put Phenom down here uh, without the line bonus. But honestly, if you're going to use some without a line bonus, uh, zombie Austin would be the one to put uh, the one to put here, like so, because this doesn't benefit him at all. Uh, so pretty strong line bonus for Phenom. Uh, really good for most of the stings. Uh, it's amazing for Wolfpack Sting because uh, it's going to buff his finisher and his sub. So his finisher would be, you know, 66k, and his sub he's going to get seven turns on a pretty high damage sub to begin with. So really good line bonus for Wolfpack Sting. Um, Surfer Sting, it's solid because of the submission bonus. He doesn't use his finisher, so really good one for him. Uh, it doesn't really benefit I don't believe at all uh, striker sting other because yeah and it doesn't uh, don't doesn't benefit striker sting at all so uh, if you want to bring him that's cool but the you, this the the line bonus just doesn't just doesn't benefit him he's obviously very good so he's worth bringing but not a great line bonus for him. Uh, most of what you're going to see is a, a crap load of zombie Austin. So have a plan for dealing with him. Even if it's using zombie Austin on zombie Austin, uh, you're going to need a, a plan for dealing with him. Uh, hopefully you guys don't see too many Sockos. Uh, if you do, uh, the only real solution for Sako is someone with an NWO bleed strap. 
So if you have that strap and you have it on Hitman, you're definitely going to want to bring Hitman and you're going to want to use Hitman against Sako. Uh, if you're playing with Sako, make sure and check uh, your Hitman's, um, anyone else that's NWO uh, link. So I believe some of the stings have in, uh, NWO link too, so you'll want to check that. Um, other, so that's kind of I think mostly the top row you're gonna see loads of sixes I think this is spot this is probably what you'll see the most of like six zombie Austin and striker sting this this is what I would imagine most people's line will look like some version of that um, so just be aware uh, don't take zombie Austin in again six you know that kind of stuff as far as the bottom row uh, Hall of Fame, you're going to see a bunch of Hall of Fame Booker T because people can bring him, so you'll see him. Um, have a counter for him. It really, it's just winning fast against him. That's the main thing you need. So you just don't want him throwing his power gem down, the gems down, and that sort of thing. So make sure and use the power gem down trainers. Um, let's see. I can go through some of them real quick for you guys. Uh, and when I say trainer, I mean coach. So, I believe, let's see who we got. So, Sako will uh, hit him for strikers. It's really getting hard to go through all of these trainers and coaches at this point. Um... NW or so, but Masters of the Universe Warrior will do it for showboats. Um, Dunn will do it for powerhouses. So if you're going to use a powerhouse against Booker T, you definitely want Dunn equipped in your coach spot. Uh, um, looks like that's most of them I have, or all of them I have. So um, check your coaches. Look for those power gem guys reduces. So that could be helpful. Um, but yeah, so you'll see a lot of Booker T. Uh, you'll probably see some Sako. Uh, you're going to see a bunch of Z Kane and Dango. Line bonus uh, won't really help either of them. I mean, obviously, 50% gem damage helps everyone. Um, but you probably aren't going to see very many full line bonuses. So you just really want to have a counter uh, for Z Kane, which he's turn one stun, much like Zombie Austin. So uh, you. Typically, you want to counter him with another stun guy or an acrobat that you can hopefully get a turn one win. Um, but there isn't really any of those uh, because of the line bonuses. So you might bring, if you have Eddie, he has a turn one sub. You could do that. Um, Wolfpack, NW, yeah, Wolfpack Sting has a, you can get turn one sub if you do two yellow MP trainers. You can get to a sub turn one. It's not always going to happen. Um, but yeah, so Z Kane is going to be a big problem for most people, uh, myself included. Uh, so I'm either going to use, I'll probably save my Stone Cold for Z Kane. Um, and then, you know, hopefully they don't have another Stone Cold. If they do, I'll probably use uh, my Z Kane on their Stone Cold. But those are the two big, big, big problems this feud are going to be Zombie Kane and, as always, Zombie Austin. Um, so try and have a counter for them, whether it's six or phenom. <clears throat> I recommend phenom more than six, honestly, because he also can do a turn one sub. Um, so it's not just the MP steal that he can counter. Uh, so I think I, I really think phenom's better um, than six for countering the Austins, and he's better, I think, in, in his own right as a solo person. Um, so that's mostly what you're going to see. I would say stick with five. Make sure you can get those unique wins. Uh, use the bonus, guys. Get your bonus points. Um, yeah, I think that uh, mostly covers it, guys. Um, hopefully you found this helpful. I kind of did it short notice after waking up, so hopefully it's useful. Um, other than that, let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, have, a, have a good feud out there tonight, guys. Uh, good luck. Thanks for watching.